Missy Assair, Igor Stravinsky, and Eric Satie were prominent figures in the cultural and artistic world of Paris during the early 20th century. As the threat of war loomed, they were each affected in their own way. Missy Assert was a muse and patron of the arts, known for her close relationships with many of the leading artists of the time. She was a friend of Pablo Picasso, Jean Cocteau, and Sergei Diaghilev, among others. In the days before the outbreak of war, Missia was torn between her love of beauty and culture and the growing realization that a cataclysmic event was about to occur. She was deeply saddened by the news of the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, and she was acutely aware of the impact it would have on the artistic world. Missia's salon was a hub of creativity, a place where artists, writers, and musicians gathered to share their ideas and collaborate on new projects. With the threat of war looming, Missia was forced to confront the reality that many of her friends would be forced to leave Paris and that the cultural scene she had helped to create would be disrupted. Igor Stravinsky, one of the most innovative and influential composers of the 20th century, was also deeply affected by the impending war. Stravinsky had already achieved international fame by this point, but the prospect of war threatened to upend his life and his career. He was in Paris when the news of the assassination broke, and he was shocked and saddened by the news. In the days that followed, Stravinsky continued to work on his music, trying to find solace in his art. He was deeply committed to his craft, and he believed that music could help to transcend the ugliness and violence of war. Eric Satie, a composer and pianist who was known for his eccentricity and his experimental approach to music, was also affected by the events of the time. Satie was a pacifist, and he believed that war was an abomination. In the days before the outbreak of war, Satie was deeply concerned about the possibility of conflict. He was a solitary figure, and he spent much of his time alone, composing his music and reflecting on the world around him. He was deeply troubled by the news of the assassination, and he was acutely aware of the danger that war posed to the world. In the years that followed, each of these figures would be deeply affected by the war. Missy Assert would lose many of her friends and collaborators, and she would be forced to confront the harsh realities of war firsthand. Igor Stravinsky would be forced to flee Europe and begin a new life in the United States, where he would continue to make music that was both innovative and powerful. And Eric Satie, always a solitary figure, would continue to compose his music, even as the world around him was torn apart by war. Through their lives and work, Missy Assert, Igor Stravinsky, and Eric Satie embodied the complex emotions and experiences of the time leading up to the outbreak of World War I. They were each deeply affected by the events of the day, and they each responded in their own unique way. But through it all, they remained committed to the pursuit of beauty and truth, even as the world around them descended into chaos.